so will he do better against this night elf uh, or not is there anything that that works in his favor here no uh hunter <laughs> plays a lot more aggressive than All right. i mean long walk's more likely to mass hunts that's about it that's the only thing that would probably play into his favor here. <laughs> right. On the upper right, we have Miu, who surprised me in the open qualifier, who uh, kind of disappointed me in the game against Long Walk. But maybe it was just Long Walk being too strong. I think the game on AZ was an absolute disaster, trying to go for the expansion three times and getting it cancelled over and over and over again. Hunter played pretty solid. He may have had some ping issues here. Um, against the Super Bowl, but this Beastmaster choice also at least questionable. But it's Peru versus the US. Walter is already in the playoffs. Can Hunter follow? It's a long uh, road ahead of his. And of course, for Mio, it's the same. So, I expansion again or one base play this time? Well, he might. Um... He might switch up to the one base play just because expansion didn't really work out for him. Um, <clears throat> but I mean, Hunter plays a lot more aggressive, so it could be one of those yeah. one of those things where he just decides to go for the uh, for a tier two push just because he's getting pressured. What we saw for a long, long time is a Hunter's opening on Amazonia, just to pressure the expansion. I think if you go for if you kind of fake an expansion and then go for one base, does that make sense? No, I don't think so. But if you kind of trick the Knight of into a Huntress play and then go one base, uh, that might work. But of course, that's yeah. But there's trick. some tier two strategies you can do with Hunt's Dryads that works against uh, one base play. Okay. Man, Rudan used to do it a while back. Is that really working that well? Um, but... Oh, uh, I mean, it worked for me, so <laughs> that's all I got. So he gets uh, the lightning shield on the archer, starts to creep. Demon Hunter, question again is mana burn or immolation or both? I still think if you go immolation, then go full immolation with evasion as well. Mana I like he's mixing up the creep here. He's oh. going for the shop instead. I've been saying this for a long time that this might be a better alternative just to be able to get a quicker level 3 when you go for the expansion. Hmm. Of course, it takes a little more time, sorry. Yeah, but at the same time, it's unlikely that an elf is going to go straight at level 1 and harass you, so it's yeah. a fairly safe one. We have two wisps already, right next to the expansion, so there's going to be some detonates. And that's going to hit hard, yeah, as it looks like Mew is playing one base, no rifle push. He's going... Well, well, he's not expanding. Is under siege. Yeah, but he's power building a farm. Yeah, he wants to wall it off. Otherwise, his economy is getting wrecked. Are under attack. But I don't think that Hunter is expecting this harass now. No, but he's got a decent wisp spread, so he shouldn't get hurt too much by this. There's no tech behind this or is it there's the tech all right it is one base i like hunter definitely didn't expect this and therefore it's the first little win for Mew. can he cancel that moon well it's gonna be closed repair is kicking in uh... just repairing it with a one with there oh there we go second one yeah should be enough to keep it alive or intact whatever a player's forces are under and now he starts the next creep with militia i like so he's stepping up his multitasking hunter on the good way two tier two as well uh slightly ahead oh quite ahead of the human tech so is this... no, you don't see that that often anymore usually it's at least really close yeah oh That's the blacksmith. Is this timing still working for Mew then? Um, well, I mean, Hunt, I doubt Hunter's never seen this before, so. 
He is handling it well. He's built the five archers as opposed to just sitting at uh, lower archer numbers. So he's definitely prepared for some kind of tier two pressure. Um, his Huntress Hall is timed well enough. He's getting his shop, so he'll be able to get the staff before any real pressure shows up. And he's got the he's got the timing on the Naga, so he's going to be able to pick that up right away and be able to pick up a few more of these footies. Oh, oh he went Panda. Huh, and he has five archers. So that's quite an investment. Uh, it's pretty standard against rifle play to get more archers than usual, though. So it's not... It's not unheard of. Will he find the time to creep the panda? We haven't seen uh, too many high-level pandas here in this qualifier so far. Of course, long walk made it work, but apart from that, it's not too much. He cancels the shop, which is nice. But he still has no level 3 Archmage. Tier 2 is close. Lumbermill and Blacksmith both ready. Shop as well, so he can go for the next push. Uh, the little green spot is not gonna be enough for level 3. Still no second hero for Minim. Oh, he's really low on wood. Never mind. And gold. A player's forces are under attack. So what's going on with Hunter's economy? He's pretty close to being able to go to tier three. Looks like he's got enough wisps to make make it to Master Bears on time. I think it's looking pretty excellent for for Hunter here. Yep, and Panda's at least going to be able to hit level two by the time any kind of push happens. So and another farm being power built. This is so expensive, but he was supply stack, yeah, because uh, the one in the middle got killed. So he definitely needs that. But another one power build. Mew's kind of running out of lumber. Again. A player's forces are under attack. Macro is slipping yeah. a bit. Too he needs a second things. hero, that's going to be kind of important. <laughs> and he needs level 3. And he needs, uh, yeah, he needs basically everything. Long rifles upgrade. Two rifles. Got a nice upgrade. creep jack coming though. That's right, Panda's gonna hit level 2. Can he get the rock golem? Oh my god, he's not going for it. Doesn't expect his opponent there, and he gets rewarded with a big mana potion. Alright then. Still no second hero for Minim though. And he's pushing with rifles, surprisingly. Yeah, but no backup, like no towers, no second hero, no casters. And the Demon Hunter is level 3, I mean, the position's not that great, forced into a town portal. Is he losing yeah, I was one? gonna say, like, those two rifles were gonna die unless he left right away. Whoa, this is not how you want it. But I think the next uh, push is gonna be an all-in anyway, so... Is he going for Master already? Okay, tier 3 is gonna take a while. I don't think we will see four bears uh, before... Why is he supply stuck? Oh, because he lost the one Moonwell. Ah, okay. Uh, I kind of missed that. Um, yeah, so that's... Yeah, so he's not going to have bears for a bit, but he's going to have Panda 3 with the Wand of Illusion, which is going to help him quite a bit just to keep positioning on the archers and the Dryad. Like, my personal opinion on that matchup is, or on that rifle play is, if the Night Elf gets, like, four bears, the human can do whatever he wants. It's not going to work. Um, <laughs> Minimum supply blocked again because of the farm. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> Not getting reinforcements here is gonna be hard. Defensive towers. Only two. So militia support is in. And he's still at level three. So he needs kills as fast as possible, but nice drunken haze breath of fire combo. Everything is burning. No second hero. Militia getting slaughtered. Panda has so much mana. <laughs> <laughs> And this is another nine minute game. Well, he gets better. Five minutes, seven minutes, nine minutes. So, there's improvement. Longwalk's playing the long con, though, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Okay, Mio needs to regroup. That's understandable. We have a new sub, Noodle. A resub actually for the second month here. Thank you very much. You do an American accent. I have no idea how to do that. 
I can do one. <laughs> okay, go. <laughs> I don't know what I should say, but I'm doing it right now. Is that too Canadian? <laughs> Back it off a little. Well, that that definitely was a stronger showing from from Minim. I mean, he didn't lose as many footies in the early game. He actually killed a well. Some stuff died. Um, I think yeah, his macro was a little off, though, yeah. especially when he ended up power building a bunch of farms. Yeah, definitely. Maybe this is nervousness. Like, I don't think this usually happens to him. You know him better. Uh... Well, I think he just hasn't played in a while. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, especially in the game against Long Walk, where so many peasants were just standing around. That was really, really showing uh, that this is not the best walker that he can play. But, yeah, still chance for him, man. He needs to win two maps in a row now against Hunter. Uh, yeah. But it's going to be hard. H yep. Hunter very solid, I think. What's the next map? Yeah, I don't think Hunter really did anything particularly wrong. I mean, he was a little short on Lumber just because he spent a little bit of time repairing the Moonwell. But other than that, I mean, not much he really needs to change. I think Last Refuge... Yeah, Last Refuge is the next map. So I assume it's going to be the next... Okay, let's go, he says. So this is definitely gonna uh, not gonna be a one base play. Last refuge, not really made for that. Where's the? Oh, is it not hosted yet? Never mind. Nope, I don't think so. Josh. Did he see it in the chat? I think so, right? Okay, yeah, he does. The winner will face in Super Bowl. For the last slot to the playoffs. But I think there's so much missing at M Mio's play at the moment. Why, why do you go into the Knight of Base with that two rifleman? That wasn't really that great. Also, as you mentioned, missing farms everywhere, not having l level three on the Archmage, um, no level two here, uh, no tier two hero. Yeah. Yeah, I, like, my best guess is he tried to, like, cancel a lore or something. Yeah, 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 true. That but a good idea. I don't think that's worth a town portal. I don't know. Okay, now it's up. Yeah, that's a few. I'm also sad <laughs> he didn't get that creep jack. What creep jack? Mine. Yeah, yeah, right. Big, big mistake to not check for it. Sorry, what were you going to say before? That? <laughs> uh, I was talking about last refuge. Um, maybe if he gets some time on the map, he can stabilize. And on last refuge, it's not that hard, except you're facing a warden with double engine of war huntress uh, support then you're gonna have a really hard time yeah but i don't think hunter's the type to go nope me neither warden hunts i mean it's in his name but yeah if he wanted to to do it he could have done it on uh, amazonia as well it's true i think amazonia is definitely a better hunt map than uh last refuge uh... Yep. Because you still have access to the Merc Camps, which you can actually pull with a Wisp, and then you can get Troll Priests that way, and it's a lot more open. So, like, if you look at Last Refuge, there's a lot of choke points. That's why a lot of human players really like Last Refuge, 
is because you can get some really great choke points and that's right uh, especially the on the you're looking for. left and uh, right lane that's really good but let's see if we go into these late stages of the game hunter is ready Mew is ready we are ready Josh give us the go do I have admin on these bots I don't know ah Go, 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 Josh! Okay, here we go. Second map of this uh, second last best of three. It is, as we mentioned, Last Refuge, Mio versus Hunter. The Night Elf from Peru is up 1-0, and I kind of fucked up the overlay. Mm. There we go. So Mew starting in the bottom left. This is uh, not the best starting position because as I mentioned you can build a farm right here to get access to the lab. And then you can do some Zeppelin shenanigans maybe, but I doubt that we will see it here. Altar of Kings, of course, to the right to go for the expansion. It's always a question if you go for Merc Camp first and then expand or go for the expansion right away. What do you suggest here for Mew? Uh, if I were him, I would go for the expansion right away and then try to solidify from there. Just because from what I've seen with his Merc Camp creeping, it's, it hasn't really been that solid. And this is one of the tougher Merc Camps as well. It's got a couple trappers, the uh, Stone Golem and everything. So I really think he should, if he's going to play the expansion game, he should just go straight for the expansion and then... Try to hope that he can actually win from there. I mean, Yumiko used to do those strategies as well. He would just straight go, straight up go for the expansion. Yeah, I'm not too sure because, of course, the longer the game goes, the more pressure is going to be there from Hunter's side. We see an engine of war here. Very conservative. I think he would have the time to go for the shop in this game. And he doesn't really need the engine of war to defend his base and there's not going to be aggression uh, for the very long time. You put the Ancient of War in a weird spot, like it's not even near a tree. That's right. <laughs> but of course it's gonna be a Demon Hunter and Archmage, so... Mio, decision time! He's going for the Merc Camp, yeah. And I agree to that, if he finishes this he has... Uh, Shadow Priest support, he can get Berserkers real quick. And it's just... A lot easier to defend the expansion with Merc support. Did you just lose something? Yeah, the peasant is dead. Alright. Felt of giant strength. But he has some healing now. Which is of course always good. So, is there early the Huntress Hall? No. Attack. He's playing it standard with archers. No, oh, but here comes Hunter. And the early expansion already being built by Hunter. Whoa. Yes. Line countering. That's interesting. It's pretty far away from the gold mine. But okay. So level 2.3 right. AM. He really wants Minimum's to get rid of behind his on his peasant production as well. Oh yeah, that's right, only six of them. Oh, I don't know. Archmage is trying to get closer to level 3 this farm. Oh, I think the damage is enough. Yep, he's gonna cancel that farm. Oh boy. And Minimus, uh, or Mio is supply stuck again. <laughs> I think that's gonna be the story of this series. <laughs> that's right. <clears throat> but the Demon Hunter is not even level 2. Did he deny a creep then? Or is it common? No, because he only crept the green, okay. so... So now he has four, five, uh, four footies. Oh, Hunter stole the Berserker. Can he pick it up? That would be great for Mio. Yeah, he has a surround. So maybe his confidence is coming back after this little move. That was actually a big investment of uh, of Hunter that got uh, down the drain here. Yeah, not as rusty as he looks. Indeed. <laughs> now he goes for the creep, though. It is mana burn. No immolation, but he's gonna get. He's close to level two, and then immolation would really hurt. And there we go. 
He has a lot of mana left, but not enough HP, so nice right clicks on the hero. Dead bloody. Oh. Oh, and that peasant as well. Feeding the demon hunter in general, not the greatest idea. Tier 2 tech by hunter. Hunter's Hall is in time. And then He's in a really good spot, though. I mean, his expo is pretty much done. He's going to be mining from his gold mine before, before Miu is. Yeah, usually you want that 3,000 gold advantage as a human. We won't see that here. No. I'd assume he picks up a staff and then goes to harass. I feel like that's the play. War archers, not going for the fifth one, so everything's alright. Oh, Engine of War, interesting. Neil uh, sees it though and has a Shadow Priest nearby. That's gonna help. But the Demon Hunter is coming in again. Did he go for Immolation or is it Evasion? I didn't see a miss yet. See, the reason I would get the staff is because you're already walking the tree down. So as soon as you retreat from this harass or whatever, you can just go straight to the expansion. Yeah. Creep it out. I think Hunter could have gotten a bit more out of this harass. Oh, he's, definitely. He's getting uh, time from the economy of Mio, though. He sent another pack of militia to knock down this engine of war. And he, as he's oh, continuing. Naga second. Yeah, more pressure behind this expansion. Pretty interesting. Usually what you want is do damage once the Naga is out. And this is the exact opposite of what he will do. No, but he's getting a couple of footies anyways. So that's kind of nice. Yeah, but that was not supposed to happen, to be honest. <laughs> 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 he scouts everything, so he sees double engine of lore. Or at least one engine of lore is coming. A player's sports is There's the second attack. one. I'm just easily taking care of this. Tree of Life is a bit, little desperate now. Sick and tired of waiting for his friends. Starts the evening alone. Arcane Tower finally going up. Looks like Mew's actually stabilized. Except he doesn't have any towers at his main. But he does have a decent number of peasants now. Mining wood. Is, and Naga's gonna hit level two. Is mining wood the correct term? A player's forces are under. Uh, like I say it all the time, but <laughs> collecting. Okay. Wiring. I don't know. <laughs> you have to tell me, man. It's your language, not mine. But all right, Murloc creep here by Mio. Interesting. The big shadow priest is still alive, right? Uh, it should be. I don't really know why he's creeping the Murlocs here. That's the slippers. And yeah, this is looking very comfortable for our Hunter. Took some damage on the expansion, but I think it's gonna be okay. The longer the game goes, though, the better it is for Mew. There's a lot of Mercs now. Two Shadow Priest, Berserker, Mighty the Mud Golem. What was the item here? He sold it immediately, right? Yeah, he did. It was a Wand of Mana Stealing. Okay. T2 for Mew. And if he can get to a fight with Breakers and Mortars and Casters, this is definitely favoring the human player. Nope, oh, Shadow Stalker almost gets caught. Alright, now he's starting to tower up his main. Yeah, two of them. That's cool. Moonstone being used. Ah, Mew, trying to build a farm in the base of Hunter. <laughs> And only three on the gold mine for Hunter. Oh, there we go. He's fixing it now. What is he doing with these mercs? I don't know. Sends them back right on time. I like the extended pole here, though. This is a, like, a really safe way of creeping this. You didn't get the Magi yet, right? No, didn't. Nope. It's still hanging out. No more strength, no tomb of experience. First heal scroll very early on for Mew. He keeps the ball of giant strength, a little afraid of hero folks maybe. 
Potion of Greater Healing for the Naga, level 3, very very close. Can he steal it? Nope, doesn't even try to go for it. And lots and lots of towers for the human. But tier 2 is finishing. Oh, he could be going for tier 3 play. I mean, he doesn't have um, improved masonry yet, but... You mean for Oh tanks? no, he's getting Sanctums. This is a lot of towers for tier 2 yeah. play. Oh, and now the Archmage getting caught. Nice block by the Dryad. Slow, of course, coming in. Double slow from Huntress and Naga. Cancels the block, though, but forces the TP again very early on. Oh, and he's probably going to lose the, the Troll Berserker right here. Ah, is the damage going to be enough? The Naga is far, far, far away. Oh, the Demon Hunter, yeah. Okay, you're right. Of course you are. Uh, he gets it. And level 3.25, yeah, 3 and a quarter. Power building another farm. Mew is stuck there. <laughs> Definitely problem. Yeah, he can't even get to the shop. The shop is dead before he's able to purchase anything. Hunter seizes the initiative. 54 food versus 51. But what can Mio build now? He could go for some riflemen, but he's waiting for the workshop. I think he definitely needs riflemen right now. Yeah. Honestly, well, actually, the, the peasants that he just lost was probably in favor of Minim, just so he can stay under into uh, in no upkeep. He's already breaking. Yeah. Both are. The Altar of Kings is gone, so no MK. But he decided to go for a Naga here. Of course, more squishy and no chance anymore for the nice clap lizard combo later on. Which works perfectly here on LR. No, but he's got to alleviate the pressure. So, oh, that's a really early town portal. Yeah, he wants to be in the perfect position. And there's, I think there's no town portal on. Okay, there is. Second town portal very early on for Mew. So right now, if I'm Hunter, I would go for the second expansion. I know that sounds really greedy, but that's yeah. what I would do. <laughs> That is indeed greedy. Uh, yeah, well, there's not really a chance to go for Zappers yet. There's no nat Nature's Blessing. There is tier 3 though, and Mark of the Claw, so Master is done already. Three Master Bears. He still has four Archers. He could kill them easily to replace them, but he's an upkeep anyway, so why? More Bears coming in. Big Heal Potion. Envil Potion. Oh, and Mew starting this spot. This is not good. This is not good at all. Here we go. Can Hunter with no fear. <laughs> Fog lightning. Kills a lot of peasants. Going into the towers. Doesn't really care. That demon Hunter is just tanking all the damage. Yeah, this. He's nothing. actually going to be able to take out this hall, maybe. Yeah, he's straight going for that town hall. Three siege bears, not too much repair since he killed so many peasants. And uh, with the piercing damage, kills even more. Has to be careful with his demon hunter though. Is the damage gonna be enough? I think so. Yep! Town hall gone! And Mew once again struggling. Two bases versus one. Usually you cannot support this 67 versus 53. Oh, he tried and to. And the militia dying to creeps. Yeah, exactly. All right, so what does Minim do to get back into this game? Yeah. His mortar teams are stuck. They're free now. I can see... Oh, Book of the Dead is okay. So, he has no resources for it, but Zapper, Zappelin, something like that. Yeah. Well, he needs two Zappers at this point. It's because elf buildings regen HP at night. Yeah. But That's maybe just weird. use one yeah. and use more teams for that as well. Good. So, mm. But it's 77 supply. I mean, 
even if he gets the expansion, there's still this big Knight of Army against him. He can fight in his base now, but there's no shop. Modern team are in a good position though. Can Bears are really out of position, so that's nice. Level 4, but there's no breaker, uh, no breakers to block. Book of the Dead being summoned, but dispelled immediately. Level 4 on the Naga. And yeah, he's just eating through. The Casters were way out of position at the start of this fight, yeah. too. Naga catching so many hits, dies immediately. And yeah, he can just do whatever he wants at this point. Trying to focus the Demon Hunter, forcing the Town Portal to recover at least a bit. But he's just right-clicking here. He has more than twice the supply. <laughs> and the cast is all Wait for it, it's about to get worse. <laughs> GG! Mew is out! Hunter 2-0 over this human. And uh, 15 minutes, so... He got better every single game, from 5 minutes to 7 to 9 to 15. There is progress for Miu, and I hope this was not the last that we saw of him, because I think, still, there were some cool moves of his in the pre-qualifier, so... Um, yeah, against Likings. Indeed, against Likings. Not everybody can do that. <laughs> and uh, he's a very cool guy from what I've uh, read of his, and m maybe we can get him for a cast in the upcoming days and weeks. Long walk 4 0, Mio 0 4, and now it's down between Insuperable and Hunter. We get the rematch from the winner bracket semi. Undead versus Night Elf, Canada versus Peru coming up. One more best of three for the final slot in the playoffs for next Sunday, where there's going to be $13,900 on the line and two tickets to Yinchuan, China, to the grand final, where it's the World Championships of Warcraft. So we go into a little break. Going to be right back with the final series of the day.